Because the biodiversity crisis is complex and cross-cutting, it requires a cross-cutting approach that includes all stakeholders, from institutions to businesses, from research to citizens. I'm Valeria Barbie and I'm an expert on biodiversity and climate change. I'm a scientific communicator and book author. Individual choices play a key role because, as individuals, we are also voters and consumers and can, as such, decide who can remain in the market or who can represent us on the national and international stage. In addition, we can take various actions in our daily lives. We could, for example, help sensitive species to feel safe and protected by setting up bird and bath houses or bee hotels. We could eliminate or at least drastically reduce the use of chemicals in our gardens and keep vehicles on main roads to reduce the spread of weeds and disturbance to wildlife. We could also lobby with institutions for the creation of wildlife corridors and animal passage infrastructure. Another of the action that falls within the sphere of individual ability in the control is the control of our pets. Dogs and cats, in fact, can be a serious threat to wildlife if not kept under strict control. Every spring, for example, we see images of dogs preying on deer in the countryside. Just as cats are classified as one of the most dangerous invasive species and are responsible for the extinction of many species belonging to the microfauna. As individuals, we could also direct our purchase in a way that reward virtuous companies and punishes those that harm the environment. And we can work to prevent the spread of invasive species, which are species introduced in an area where they have no natural predators that can decimate an ecosystem. We can also help creating ecological corridors in cities and support pollinators by planting useful species. We can reduce water use and promote uh, the importance of uh, green spaces and trees in the urban setting. We can finally choose to buy with uh, product with no packaging, which has a positive impact on raw material extractions, processing and disposal, leading to a final reduction in er energy consumption, air emissions and the release of waste, in particular plastic, into the environment. Finally, I strongly suggest the participation to volunteer programs and citizen science activities that are fundamental to increase knowledge and empathy for the natural world. Mm -hmm.